you want to be ready for the first game. Um, we also understand that this thing is a marathon. Uh, so, I mean, today is really the first day that I even looked at, at, at Vanderbilt and uh, some of the stats from their pitching staff and what they did last year. Um, we've been just totally focused and immersed in, in really our club, you know, getting better. Um, you know, it's going to be a good test for us. I think our team is looking really good. We're starting to come together a little bit as a team. We got our first test uh, last weekend um, to uh, kind of play against another team and come together. Um, we did pretty well, so um, I'm excited about, you know, really starting up the season and seeing what we uh, have against one of the best teams in the country. Uh, I think our team's ready, and I think that we're going to go out there and uh, compete with them. So I'm very excited. It's been a while since uh, we played another team, so it's going to be it's going to be fun. Uh, surprises that we have some new guys jumping in that are going to fill some big roles. I think we're very connected as a team this year. Uh, we're very driven. Um, our sayings, we're not here to take part, we're here to take over. Uh, Conor McGregor saying, so we're here to win it all. Um, and I feel like we're very focused and very determined and that's what we're going to do. I think that, you know, uh, very organically some of the thoughts that come to mind are a guy like Brett Bewley. You know, where, uh, you know, he really was not healthy his whole senior year because of an illness. And uh, he's as good as any freshman there is in the country, uh, being a position player. And I think Nick Springle, as a freshman, is as good as any, you know, left-handed pitcher in the country. And, uh, you know, both those guys are here, and they made it to college, and we're very thankful for that. Um, you know, Troy Conyers comes to mind coming off of Tommy John surgery and uh, really being the only guy in our staff that we feel can, you know, go maybe more than twice around uh, a lineup. Uh, and then Bryson Brigman, I think the highlighted guy who, He's just different. He looks different out there, uh, the way he plays, the energy he plays with. Um, he's very stoic, um, at the same time very passionate about the game. So there's a lot of, of, of really good pieces, young and old, and uh, we're just looking for the right recipe. Uh, I was kind of wondering how we would end up coming together just because we have so many new guys um, with the transfers and everything and all the freshmen. Um, but, you know, everyone works hard. Um, everyone's been putting their time in, you know, the optional time, everything like that. And um, I think that's really going to pay off for us. So there's a lot of different factors that go into the schedule. Uh, I think number one is uh, the RPI and scheduling to the RPI and, you know, the, uh, the idea that if you finish second and you don't get that automatic bid, will you have an RPI under 40 uh, to garner? and at large bid and that's how we schedule so how many top 50 teams how many top 100 teams and we're gonna look good in all of those categories and really that's the only way to do it you know there's risk involved with the one loss record not tipping the scales in your favor but if we did it the other way and schedule really easy you know the the and the one loss record was really good in non-conference our RPI wouldn't be very good I think it gets us ready for the WCC uh, at the same time, it really helps with recruiting. And maybe the main factor is it's just kind of fun <laughs> to go out on the road and, and to play against uh, the best in the country, you know? And we feel like we're the, one of the best in the country, so let's go for it. Okay.